In a groundwater contamination study in Albemarle County, Virginia, researchers identified 25 possible sites for drilling and sample collection. Unknown to the researchers, 19 of these sites have groundwater with high contamination, while the other sites have low contamination. The researchers have a budget that only allows them to drill at five sites, so they randomly choose them from the 25. What's the probability that at least four of the five sites have groundwater with high contamination? Okay? So we know exactly what our finite population is, okay? It has, we have 25 sites total, okay? Now maybe we don't know this in advance, but as it turns out, uh, there are um, 19 sites with high contamination, okay? 19 of those 25 have high contamination. And we are gonna pull a sample randomly of five, okay? So we wanna know what's the probability that at least four or five of those that we sampled have high contamination. What's the probability that we pick four or five in our sample of five from the 19? Okay, that's essentially what we're wanting to ask. So we're gonna name a random variable, let's just call it X. And that is the number of sites in five uh, with high contamination. And we want to know what's the probability that uh, x is 4 or 5, that is greater than or equal to 4. Okay, because the only number is bigger, the only number bigger than 4 that's possible is 5. Okay, that is the probability that x equals 4 plus the probability that x equals 5. Okay, so let's work this out. This is a hypergeometric problem. We know exactly what this uh, population looks like. We know exactly how many successes. We're calling a con high contamination site a success here. Okay, that's just the, the notation. Okay, we have a number of successes and a number of failures. And we know exactly how many successes and how many failures there are in the population. So this is going to be, uh, of those 19 sites, we're going to pick four of them. Okay, so four of them are going to have high contamination. That must mean the rest, the other six, we're going to pick one. One has low contamination. Okay? That is going to give us this. That's the number of ways that we can get x equals 4. And in the denominator, it's just the total number of ways that we can pick five sites in general. Okay, remember, this 4 and this 1 should sum up to 5. This 19 and this 6 should sum up to 25. Okay? It's a way to check to see if you're getting this done correctly. Uh, now we want the probability that x takes on the value 5. So from those 19, we're going to pick 5 that are high, of high contamination. That must mean that the remaining uh, number in the sample, 0, are going to come from low contamination. Okay? Then the number of ways to pick 5 out of 25 is in the denominator. Okay? Straightforward. Straightforward calculation from here. It's just arithmetic. And if we do that, we should get 0.6566. Okay? So on average, if we do this over and over again with these 25 different sites, if they're composed the same way, then roughly 66% of the time, we're going to have four or five of those five that have high contamination. 